What's good YouTube? It's your boy Dylan here and today we're going to be talking about two morphs but only one gene. Hypo. guys let's jump right into it the first hypos were wild caught from malaysia and imported by michael cole in 2005 a captive bred clutch was also hatched in taiwan and again imported by michael cole using a different exporter and then stateside the first captive bred and born hypos were hatched in 2006 by jeff wilson hypos have gone through a number of names from hypo platinum fire phantom but after the genes were proven to be genetically the exact same thing the name hypo was settled on. With hypos being selectively bred since then, they've changed a lot from their original counterparts. The original hypos were very dark honey-like hues with bright orange eyes, almost like what's seen in reticulated pythons. It is also believed that the hypo gene is sensitive to the influences of certain hets, making the selective breeding process a lot quicker in that aspect as it's been shown to influence the color as well as a number of other factors in the animals. Hypo hatchlings go through an intense color change as neonates with hatchlings having lavender to peach tones and as they age these colors fading into more of a caramel or brass like tone although some hypos can be just as dark as normals with just a little bit less black pigment as they're not able to produce this. The original orange eyes of the first hypos is rarely seen anymore with a lot of the animals you see now having more amber to charcoal colored eyes it can really vary depending on the animal and unlike every other gene we've covered so far hypo is not a simple recessive hypo is a incomplete dominant gene and here's where it's going to start getting a little bit confusing i've heard a lot of people refer to this as a co-dominant trait but this is actually incorrect this is technically an incomplete dominant because the hypo burmese is actually a het i know what you guys are thinking just follow along with me here they only carry one allele of the gene making them a heterozygous form. But unlike a normal simple recessive trait, they are not able to hide this heterozygous trait as seen in all of the other simple recessives, making it an incomplete dominant, being as hypo is the visual heterozygous form with the homozygous form being the ivory Burmese python. And that brings in our second gene. They have been called super hypos and leucistics, but technically only one of these is correct. They can be called super hypos, but they are not true leucistics as ivory still carry a cream color on their head and down their dorsal, making this not a true leucistic as it would not be able to produce this pigment. The first ivories produced in the States were likely produced by Tom Reagan, although Jay Brewer had imported one a year prior. Ivories can be born solid white or with that cream color already on their back, but as they mature, most tend to gain a lot of color along their dorsal and head, making them more of a bright yellow or pale yellow as they grow to adulthood. Although some can keep a high amount of white, the ventral scales on an ivory will always remain white. Also, ivories can have either black or blue eyes or sometimes even a mix of both. While ivories are healthy, beautiful animals, they can suffer from a condition known as drop eye, which is a weakening of the muscle around the eye, which can give them a cross-eyed appearance as they age. But this can vary drastically between animal to animal as some can have it more severe than others and some you can almost not even notice it or it just isn't there. So just be aware when purchasing or breeding that things like this can happen with these genes involved. Ivories, much like albinos, can be susceptible to sunburns if left in the sun for prolonged periods of time due to their lack of dark pigmentation. Both of these animals are still highly sought after, both for their beauty and their breeding capabilities, with ivories only being able to produce hypo or hypo comboed offspring. Today you can pick up a hypo anywhere around four to seven hundred dollars, and you can pick up an ivory around the five hundred to a thousand dollar mark, depending on hets and quality of the animals. Uh, for instance, with ivories, the lack of cream pigmentation and the higher white animals are going to be valued at a higher price. 
This is one of the newest jeans introduced into the States and their popularity has only skyrocketed and rightfully so. Both the forms of this jean are absolutely beautiful. And what do you guys say we wrap up this segment by checking out some of these amazing animals? If you guys like this video, make sure you go check out the last six videos we've done in this series. They'll be linked in a playlist on our channel. And if you guys would like to see more reptile related content as well as videos like this, make sure you hit subscribe, smash that like button, and until next time... Thank you.